Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some shopping and then I am redecorating my living room after Christmas. Right now it is a clean, fresh slate, so I wanted to check out all of the new decor from Studio McGee, from Hearth and Hand, and do a complete redecorate in there. So if you also want to see what's new at Target, are looking for some decorating inspiration, shelf styling tips, this is definitely the video for you. We're already off to a great start. I think my Target just reset stocked and I'm seeing so many new items already. I cannot wait to see what the new trends and color palettes and things like that are going to be for 2022. I love a round basket to ground items together on a table or island and this one is so pretty. I'm seeing so many kinds of vases this season, all sorts of shapes and textures. I've really been leaning into the natural, earthy toned vases lately, and there are just a ton of different options of those. They did still have a little bit of Christmas clearance left. I believe they are down to 70% off right now, and I did find a piece that I was eyeing all season that was on clearance that I will be showing you later. I love checking out what seasonal stems they have. Threshold is usually priced around $4.99 a stem, and I've already picked up these white and purple ones. They're so pretty for that winter to spring transition. This lavender is absolutely gorgeous, and I love the vase that it comes in, and it's only $15, such a great price for this. What do we think of these giant bead garlands? I don't know how I feel about it. It's super heavy and kind of awkward, but I don't know, it could look cute on a coffee table, maybe draped over a big book. Today's video is sponsored by Ritual. As I mentioned in my last video, I am on a new health kick for 2022, and one of the habits that I've been implementing into my daily routine is taking my Essentials for Women 18 Plus multivitamin from Ritual. I have been so bad about remembering to take my multivitamins every day, but Ritual has made it so easy. Just two of the capsules fill in any nutritional gaps in my diet, and the delayed response capsules are designed to take any time of day, even if you are on an empty stomach. So the only thing you have to worry about is finding time to fit it into your routine. I have found it really helpful to pair a new habit, like remembering to take my vitamins every day with an existing habit. So I started leaving them right next to my coffee cups. So I remember to take them every morning before I make my coffee. So let's get healthy together in 2022. You can get 10% off of your your first three month subscription to Ritual using my code 10 Jessica. I will leave that in my description box down below, so make sure you head on over and check it out. They ship anywhere in the US and Canada, and you can change or cancel your subscription at any time. Do you see what I mean with all of the vases? There are just so many this year. It looks like they're mostly in a neutral color palette, but there is a huge variety of shapes and textures. And you'll have to let me know if this basket vase is new or if it was from the fall and winter collection. I can't remember and it looks kind of out of place here. Here is the marble collection. These chains aren't really my style, but they are pretty. They were $35, which I personally think is a lot for something so tiny, but again, they aren't really my style, so I could be off on those. I 
I am so excited that they have the checkered boxes at my store. I saw these online and just had to see them for myself in person. I think they will be such a fun addition to my living room shelves. The large one is 25 and the small is 20. The inside looks like it's made out of almost a particle board material, which is kind of strange, but look how they match my purse. I just love these. I don't know how I'm just seeing this huge piece of art hanging here. It is a stunning painting of a sky and it looks just so high end. It is $70, but it's a super large piece and I think it would work in so many different spaces. I don't know what it is about these navy matte bud vases, but I just had to have them. I'm not sure where they're going yet, but they are definitely coming home with me. And I love adding a lot of blue accents this time of year, so I love that it's this beautiful navy matte shade. I just love these. Okay, so this log holder basket was originally $50, and I got it on clearance today for $15. So excited about this. I love checking out Target's pillow selection and these floral beauties immediately caught my eye. They are $30, which is pretty typical for this size. And another new print I'm loving is this blue floral reversible. So pretty and perfect for this time of year. Oh my gosh, you guys, they even have bedding, more of the neutral colors with a little bit of that coral pink. I saw some other pillows in that shade, but my favorite is this leafy botanical print. So pretty. And a few steps over is the new hearth and hand line. The simple blue line pattern on this pitcher and cup is so pretty. The pitcher is $19.99 and the cup is $4.99. I may, I may have to come back for those. I didn't pick them up today, but I really, really love them. And the wood recipe book holder is $19.99 and that one is beautiful as well. Look at how pretty this tree is. I'm so glad to see trees this season that all aren't olive trees. Nothing against olive trees. I have one, but they definitely had their moment last year. So something new was very refreshing to see. And I love that they have Crocs, and next to that is the vase that I already purchased. This one is on my dining room table with some florals. I just love the shape and color, and it's only $14.99. There's also a smaller Croc for just $12.99, which is such a good steal. Here is that serving tray from my Christmas brunch video. Definitely recommend picking that one up. It's one of my favorites. I was also so glad to see they brought the fig leaves back this year. This one comes with four stems and a really pretty vase. That one is $34.99 and I think it's so pretty and I love those fig leaves. They're just such a pretty shade of green. It's so funny that Hearth and Hand came out with these botanical prints because I have a little dupe that I'm going to share with you guys today. These are $19.99 for one, and I will show you what I came up with to get the look for half the price. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using our imagination a little bit. As I mentioned in the shop with me portion of the video, I saw those beautiful framed hearth and hand botanical prints for $19.99 for one. And I knew I wanted to do some kind of framed artwork on my shelves, so that meant I would need four of them. So I found a dupe. These come out to $10.25 for four of them. I found these beautiful white distressed frames as a four pack off of Amazon. 
Amazon and I really like them. And then I also ordered some botanical prints that are on a book page. They looked so beautiful, but unfortunately they are running late. I don't know what's going on with Prime these days, but so many of my orders are coming way late. So I will insert a picture of what the prints look like, but I absolutely love them. And if they get here between the time that I film this video and I upload it, I will insert some footage of what they look like. But for today, we'll just use our imagination. I'm still going to decorate with these beautiful frames. I love when you can come up with a way to get the same look for less. So I will leave the links to the frames and the prints down below. So I went ahead and cleared out this space, which is my number one tip if you guys are going to redecorate, especially after Christmas. I feel like most of our homes are at their cleanest slate. So just take everything down and then start slowly. Use your imagination. Don't be afraid to experiment with different looks. Have things sit for a while and just look at them throughout the day and decide if you want to move things around or if you love the way they look. I did update the artwork in my frame TV from my beautiful Christmas picture to this view of the mountains. I love this print. It's perfect. It matches my rug and just the overall vibe of this space. Plus, it's really peaceful to look at. The Frame TV is such a great purchase if you're in the market for a TV. I love that you can just have it off and this is the default. You can change out the pictures whenever you want for every season. So I'm loving this print. So I like to begin with my large anchor pieces first and I knew I wanted to add some trees back in here. I miss my Christmas tree so bringing in just some really realistic faux trees kind of brings back that life into this space. I like to keep this short olive tree in this umbrella basket just to add more height and texture. Both were from Target last spring and then I'm just putting my clearance wood basket next to it with some of the logs I had used in my Christmas decor. I think it just adds a really earthy and nature element to my space. I thought the hearth and hand tree was a bit too short to keep on the floor, but I really like the height when it's up on my bench. I decided to keep my lanterns where I had them for Christmas. Don't feel like you have to reinvent the wheel every time you change a space. If there is an item or a look you love, keep it. I'm using a lot of new pieces for this look, but also reusing a lot of items that are just staples for shelf styling. And I wanted to share those with you guys, things that I use on these shelves every single season whenever I redecorate. So the first thing is this really pretty piece from Hearth and Hand. This is when they first came out with their line at Target, so like four or five years ago. It's just so pretty. I love looking for glass pieces, and I love this one because it really adds a lot of length to the shelf just really beautiful and timeless. Next are cloches. You can find these anywhere, but the same idea. I love how they reflect light. You can put little battery powered candles in here. You can put little potted greenery. These are just perfect shelf styling staples as well, and you can find them all over the place. Home goods. I know Michael's always has them. Hobby Lobby such a good piece to have on hand. Another staple are books. I get these all over the place. This specific set are vintage and I just love how worn they look. They're perfect if you want to add height this way or you can use them to prop up items like a vase or something to add height and you can get these for as cheap as going to the dollar store, taking off the cover. If you have like a neutral cover like hardback book, you can do it with um, soft cover books as well. You can just take take off the um, front and back piece and the spine and just leave it white. So there's a lot of affordable ways to incorporate books into your shelves as well. So highly recommend picking up some books. And then greenery, that's something I always incorporate somewhere on my shelves. It just brings some life into your space. And especially if you're switching out your shelves seasonally, it's awesome to have just some different seasonal greenery items. A great place that's super affordable to look for these is the Target dollar spot. These topiaries were $5 a piece. They have them out at the Target dollar spot right now, and I love them. I'm definitely going to be using them on my shelves today. I 
I kept my mantle very simple. I love using my old books here. And then these Studio McGee navy vases were such a perfect addition. I'm so glad I decided to pick these up. They are adorable. Now I'm putting the frames in the middle of each shelf. I am so sad that my prints aren't here to show you guys. I bet they'll be delivered right when I am done with this video. But anyway, I'll keep you updated on the final look either here or on my Instagram, probably both, honestly. <laughs> Now I'm filling in the shelves with just various sizes and shapes. I had to grab both of those checkered boxes for these shelves. I love when you can find two like items for shelf styling. It just makes balancing each side so much easier. I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the Now I'm using my handy dandy hangomatic to measure and hang these pretty wooden trellises also from Target here above my couch. This thing is a lifesaver when it comes to hanging things. I will try to find it and link it down below for you guys. I highly recommend. This blanket started out on my bed, but we've been using it down here for a while now and it's our absolute favorite. It's so soft and big. It's just perfect. Lonely wind is passing by it Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk The floral pillows from Studio McGee are stunning. I couldn't find them on Target website yet because they are still new, but if you love them too, make sure you go and check your local Target. They may have them on the shelves, but these seriously might be my favorite couch pillows I've ever bought. I just think they are so pretty. I'm keeping it really simple for my end table and just doing some basket stacking and then adding a little hanging Ikea plant. Alright friends, thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you to Ritual for sponsoring. I hope you found some ideas and inspiration. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you are subscribed to my channel so you never miss an upload. I am closer than ever to getting back to my two a week upload schedule. This was for two a week upload schedule, so bear with me. Ideally, Mondays and Fridays, you will see a new video here from me on my channel, and I would love for you to subscribe. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you in my next one.